This data again represents the responses to that Sullivan statistics survey. Let's go ahead and pick a variable where we can compute some of these measures of central tendency and dispersion. Like, all right, here's one, television. This is the number of hours of television watched in the past week by folks in the, in the, in the survey. Okay, so if I wanted to get some measures of central tendency and dispersion from this, I would go to stat, summary stats, columns. I then tell stat crunch that I want the television data. The other thing you'll notice is because I'm asking for summary stats, it only gives me the quantitative variables to choose from. I could group by <coughs> gender if you wanted to see if there was maybe a difference between, say, males and females. Want to do that? Mm -hmm. Click Next. And here are the different measures of central tendency and dispersion. We've talked about the mean, the variance, the standard deviation. We don't know what standard error is yet. Min and max, probably a sense of what those are, but we haven't focused on them at all. And then down here, unadjusted variance and unadjusted standard deviation. Those are your population parameters. That's the population variance, the population standard deviation. We do need to have, we do need to distinguish between population and sample standard deviation because the formulas are different, right? Population standard deviation divides by n, the size of the population. <coughs> sample standard deviation divides by n minus 1. This is sample data, so we'll stick with just those. And click Calculate, and all the results pop out by gender. So the females are watching about 8.4 hours on average. As far as the mean goes, the median has them at 7 hours. The males are watching about 10.9 hours by the mean, 10 hours by the median. And by the way, if you look at the mean and the median for the males, they're pretty close. For the females, the mean is a little bit bigger, which might be suggestive that that data is skewed to the, to the right. And then there's your variance and standard deviation. And in fact, if we wanted to look at the graphs just for fun to see if that's the case, histogram of, of television, and we need to group by gender so that we can compare the two. I'm not going to put in all the labels or the class limits and put them right on top of each other. Both are pretty skewed to the right, though, <coughs> it looks like. Right? Mm -hmm. Both are pretty skewed to the right. 